Okay, so this is a related rates of change question where we're told that the volume of this hemisphere is increasing at a rate of 450 centimeter cubed per second. So basically what we're being told is that the rate of change of the volume with respect to time, dv dt, that's equal to 450. As time goes on, for every second that passes, the volume of this hemisphere is increasing by 450 centimeters cubed per second. Uh, as the volume increases, clearly that's going to have an effect on the diameter, x. So that increases also, but it's not going to increase by the exact same amount. Like the increase wouldn't be linear um, or proportional, let's say, with the rate of increase of the volume. So what we're actually being asked to find here is find the rate at which the diameter is increasing with respect to time. So we're looking for dx dt. So this is a question where we're trying to find dx dt and we've been given dv dt and that's why this is called a related rates of change question we can write dx dt dx dt um, as dx dv multiplied by dv dt so this is the chain rule uh, so this dx dt is a compound of these other two derivatives and what we're going to need to do is we're not going to need to actually find what dx dv is. We know dv dt, dv dt is 450, we have to find dx dv. Now we can find that because we have a formula for the volume in terms of its diameter x. So if we write that as v equals pi over 12 x cubed, to find dv dx we differentiate v with respect to x, so the 3 comes down to the front, we get 3 pi over 12x, and the power goes down by 1, so that's squared, and that's equal to pi over 4x squared. So this is dv dx. Now our formula up here, we require dx dv, so I'm just going to invert this. So this is dv dx, and then if we turn that upside down, dx dv, that's equal to uh, 4 over pi x squared. So we're going to put all this together. So dx dt is equal to dx dv, which is 4 over pi x squared, multiplied by dv dt, which we know is 450. If we multiply these together, we get 1800 over pi x squared. We're just going to leave that for a second. So the change in the diameter with respect to time is 1800 over pi x squared. Now, we still have a variable in this, x, and that's because the change in the diameter over time is dependent on what the specific diameter is at that particular time. This question specifically wants the rate of change of the diameter, x, when x is 20, at that instantaneous point in time when x is 20. So what we're going to do is we're going to sub in x equals 20 uh, into our dx dt, and dx dt then becomes 1800 over pi times 20 squared. We're going to throw all this into the calculator, and so the rate of change of the diameter with respect to time is equal to 1.4 centimeters, and so this is um, a linear quantity at uh, the diameter so it's 1.4 centimeters per second so i'm going to show up the type solution just so that people can run through it one more time maybe with a bit of color if people think that that helps so we're looking for the rate of change of the diameter with respect to time and we know that that's um, a chain rule made up of dx dv times dv dt uh, we need to find expressions for dv dt and dv dx so we already know that dv dt, the change in volume over time, is 450 centimeter cubed per second. And then dv dx, we establish that we take the formula for the volume of the hemisphere with respect to x. And then we're going to derive that to get a formula for dv dx. We need dx dv, so we're going to invert that or turn it upside down. And we get 4 over pi x squared. We put it all back together. And we get that the rate of change of the diameter with respect to time is 1800 over pi x squared. And then we're looking for the rate of change of the diameter at that specific moment in time when the diameter is 20. So we sub that in and we get that the rate of change 
of the diameter with respect to time at that specific moment when the diameter is 20 is 1.4 centimeters per second. So the volume in this question is constantly changing every second by 450 centimeters cubed per second. But the diameter changes by differing amounts. And at that point in time, let's write it out, when x is equal to 20, at that specific point in time, the volume is changing by 450 centimeters cubed uh, per second, but the diameter is changing by 1.4 centimeters per second. So very different amounts.